Hi guys, I'm Jojo Astro Barbie, Fairy of Love. Welcome to your weekly horoscope. This week the sun is in the sign of Leo, moving to very perfectionist Virgo on Tuesday, right after the eclipse. So happy birthday to you, Leos. Happy birthday to you, Virgos. The moon this week will travel in the signs of Cancer, Leo, Virgo, and Libra. And fasten your seatbelt. I'm wearing my eclipse glasses. Yes, my friends, it's going to be exciting this week and actually life-changing. We have a major celestial event that will happen this week on Monday that will be a game changer individually, collectively, in politics, in world affairs. Yes, Monday is sort of like, wow, spectacular in every way. We have a, a fabulous, rare and remarkable total solar eclipse in the sign of Leo connected to Regulus. Did you call that the gates? You know, the line gates, it's connected to the Giza pyramids. It's a whole, whole story, but it's a very exceptional eclipse that has to do a lot with leadership in the world, leadership in the US and leadership in our lives, leadership of how we can make everybody's life wonderful and equal and filled with abundance and freedom. This eclipse will be visible all over continental America where it will also have its greatest effect. So the people who will be able to see it there, who are come from that area, will be very much affected one way or the other, especially emotionally and spiritually. So let me take my glasses off. Also, it will go all over the continental, uh, you know, America, it, all the area where pr the President of the United States had the most votes, and strangely enough. The sun also will be totally dark for about 2 minutes and 40 seconds. It's short and sweet but powerful, so make sure you wear your glasses. Its effects will last for at least a year. So whatever you're doing in this time of eclipse on Monday, whatever you're wishing for, whatever you're letting go, this is very important to really give it all your heart 100% and to really uh, color it with love, kindness, compassion, and lots of sensitivity and a lots and lots of heart. What is magical about this whole eclipse is that the feminine divine, you know God, the creative uh, powers and all the universe, it has a yin and a yang, it has a masculine and a feminine, and God has a fe feminine side and a masculine side. And this particular eclipse, the moon is the feminine divine that will black out all the masculine divine, the sun, of somehow that has to do with all the leaders of the world and uh, it brings usually strong strong leaders or some kind of a influence to change uh, the way of the way some leaders in the world you know no control the people and the way they handle and take care of their citizens it usually brings a lot of strong very very powerful leaders with a lot of confidence a lot of ego but this spot pretty arrogant who wants to control to want to enslave very domineering and extremely resistant to change is that kind of leadership right now so there's a battle between more democracy we were doing very well for the last 70 years and you can see now there's a tendency to go backwards before like even the last war and somehow this feminine energy of the moon eclipsing the sun, it will inspire also women. It will also empower women in the very, the yin things of life in a very special way. And also for sure, the women of the world right now will start arising as leaders in the next six to nine years. In the near future, the glass ceiling will be shattered. I'm telling you, this is all happening in the next uh, coming elections, especially in America. In the eclipse chart, the only planet that the sun moon can see is Uranus trine. That's a good thing. And it's somehow it's full of shock and chaos. And it does promote progressive, profound, revolutionary changes. One or the other, there's no 
turning back. The page of the past is flipping away and the new page is starting and it's moving the USA in a new hopeful direction. It's gonna get worse before it gets better, but it is definitely going towards the light. The eclipse also has a strong message for the American people about their collective national pride, Leo, and the new moon that is connected to Uranus, planet of shock, bringing also a spectacular change in the leadership of this country and the role of the United States that it will play in the global community in the next century, but most importantly, in the next five, six, seven years. A lot of change going on and a lot of pages turning and uh, some chaos that turns to end up being a blessing in disguise somehow. By 2018, we will start to see the Sphinx of all the chaos rising from the ashes. So it's like certain things will die, certain things will be reborn again, and slowly but surely America will really move toward more peace, more unity, more fairness, more justice. And that's absolutely, this eclipse is pushing away nations in the US and the country it is eclipsing away from wars and divisions. So whatever movement is going on right now, it's not gonna be like this in the next six months and a year. Somehow also it moves the mentality towards a mindset of more democratic, you know, uh, way of thinking and peace-oriented leadership in the world, in the future, and you see even in our own lives who are becoming more leaders of our own lives. We call this eclipse in astrology, Seros 145, which promises the end of a major wars in the world, the end of divisions, the end of enslavement in the world, of dictators uh, everywhere in the US, in the world, everywhere there's gonna be some shift. And if people are on the right side of history and really, really working for the better good of all humanity, they will survive, if not, they won't. The progress will be slow but steady. It may need a lot of hard work, a lot of determination, but there's a new movement of solidarity, people waking up and fighting, and people with good faith. And it will eventually lead to a beginning of true peace on Earth. As soon as mid-18, we will already have a feeling of uh, a sense of relief saying, ah, oh, thank God. America will slowly start to get back its heart and the Statue of Liberty will smile again. You'll see next summer, things will start to really, I mean, the Sphinx is coming out of the ashes in glory. Also on Tuesday, we have good news. We will have a nice Mars, planet of war and also energy and Saturn, planet, planet of lesson learned training that helps us to see more clearly and make better choices in our life collectively in world affairs and everything we just push in that way friday also we have two major events first one saturn planet of wisdom really really goes frontwards and that's good news it's time to break new grounds on the structure that defines our life in every aspects of our lives number two venus planet of love in Romantic Cancer will move to generous of heart Leo, leadership Leo, time to be the, the master of our destinies as people, as nations, as countries, as world, bringing many, many changes and action in the financial and the romantic sector in relationships. So there's going to be a lot of things uh, being turning around, but for the better good. The eclipse is very, very strongly connected to Mercury. That is going backwards. It sort of makes it softer a little bit, but still creates more chaotic, and it, it forces us to deal with the past, to go backwards and solve the problems and make a fresh start. Somehow it brings the skeletons out of the closet and for us to heal it and to bring justice to justice, all right? And maybe in some extraordinary way with the moon, the feminine divine eclipsing the sun, the masculine divine. So the more the heart eclipsing the ego to wipe our computer clean and make a fresh start and make a new software in the direction of peace, unity and happiness and justice for all. It's happening. I'm telling you, everything that is happening right now is leading toward this. As country, as world citizens, there's hope in the air. The super eclipse also empowers women and ignites 
a certain kind of revolution in humanity of love and compassion. And uh, I will tell you, this kind of eclipse also is very much a story of a long lasting solidarity that people uniting to really push the leaders to do the right thing for them because they're supposed to work for us, right? So let me start with you, Leo. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. You're going through all kind of swings these days, huh? The eclipse in your sign and the one on 7th of August in the in your opposite sign, Aquarius. Whoa, we're moving to self towards others, others to self, and you're adjusting a balance between you, what you need, and how you can help others. The super eclipse and Venus entering your sign make you also very charming, and also it helps you to make good choices and reinvent yourself. It pushes you also towards soul, your higher self. You attract breakthroughs, allowing you to also make a fresh start in career and finances. And also at work, it's better to work behind the scenes, you know, to keep more to yourself. And also a good time to meditate, to do yoga, to practice any spiritual discipline, because this is what's going to bring you the best results in your life. Special friendships also play key role on the weekend. Take a deep breath and let go of the past. A new beginning, very, very peaceful awaits. Your magical color gold, lucky numbers 7 and 24. Virgos, happy birthday to you. Oh la la, you also on the swing of things. The super eclipse in your spiritual sector and also the sun entering your sign bring you very deep emotions, high intuition and also a new awareness and wisdom. You get answers in friendships and love life. Focus on your goals and wishes. What can you do? What can you change to be the best you could be? And be very, very, follow your own light. Follow your own voice. And whatever you want to do about your future, it's a very good, very good day. Um, and on Monday and the whole week to really, really reflect on that, on your personal goals. And your social life also is quite uh, exciting. And you also get support from your friends. On the weekend, you are definitely going to good good company so enjoy and relax your magical color blue lucky numbers 8 and 44 libra the super eclipse in your social sector and venus planet of love your master entering your partnership house brings deep feelings and a clear awareness of who you are and what you want to accomplish and what you expect from other people more than ever you are committed to materialize your dreams Connect with new people and you also benefit from protection from your garden angels. On the weekend, peace and love awaits. If you're traveling and you're away from it all, that's the best place to be. Your best signs are Taurus and Cancer. Your magical color lilac lucky number is 1 in 55. ta -da! Scorpio, the super eclipse in your career sector and Mars, your ruler trining Saturn on Tuesday, will bring a creative kind of uh, imagination you yeah, like you're getting all kind of solutions in your mind you may be taking care of loved ones that need your care but you make a difference and they appreciate it your intuition is very high so follow your gut a good time also to do things differently and sell your original ideas follow your hunches and projects in career in love be very understanding and listen to what other people have to say okay it's time to share to listen share and listen on the weekend you really feel like relief from the past it's like a new beginning cancer taurus and aquarius really care your magical color fuchsia lucky like numbers 2 and 11. sagittarius the super eclipse in your karmic sector stimulates your spiritual values you, and it brings out your higher self and it increases also your psychic abilities get ready for serious changes especially in the next three four five weeks Many things from the past will change and you're getting new opportunities. Just get, get a way to really forgive the past. The focus is on intensity, forgiveness, connect, connecting also with new important people that could really make a big difference in your future, especially at work. And also practice the rich man's mentality. Don't downsize, upsize, think big and rich. And be bold and generous, chose to serve because you are born to serve Sagittarius. You're the luckiest sign and that's your destiny. And the more you will give, the more you will serve, the more you will tap in your 
karmic luck. On the weekend, meditate, spend time with self and what you want to do with the rest of your life. Your magical color, red, lucky numbers 8 and 44. Ta-da! Capricorn, the super eclipse in your shared resources sector and Saturn, your master, moving forward in your spiritual house, bring a new confidence, a new awareness of who you are, what you want, and also how you connect with other people. Because now you could benefit from the support, financial, spiritual, emotional health from other people. The focus is also on more flow in your love and your career life. Friends play an important role. You also get a lot of support at home. This is a perfect time to express your feelings and to the people you love. They want to hear what you have to say. Okay, so focus more on others, less on you. On the weekend, you feel brand new, ready to manifest your wildest dreams like never before. Wow. Your magical color silver, like in numbers 5 and 14. Aquarius, the super eclipse in your relationship sector and Uranus, your master planet, really directly connected to the eclipse and Mercury going backwards brings endings and new beginnings one way or the other in your family life, your love life with friendships. I mean, you're going to have to make some choices in this couple of weeks. It's time to move forwards and do things that is good for you. You need to balance the receiving and the giving. If you're giving too much, not receiving enough, maybe it's time to say goodbye. If it's good, well, you stay, but negotiate. Anything is possible, everything to negotiate. A good time also to put order in every part of your life, in career, at home, everywhere. Health is more stable and more than ever, it's very important to follow your own truth, to do it your way. On the weekend, you get many thank yous for your wonderful generosity of heart. Thank you for being there. The magical color, lilac, lucky number 6 and 33. Hey, Pisces, the super eclipse in your work sector, bring intense feelings, leadership and confidence and a strong desire for more structure, more harmony in your life. And you're doing something about it. So dance to your own tune and do things your way, but be patient for the next two, three weeks and be the captain of your ship. Don't rely on other people to be happy. Be happy by yourself. Be complete. That's the whole secret of the eclipse. It's our own leadership of our life. In love, people respond positively to your demands. Ask and you shall receive. Anything to do with spiritual workshops, seminars, the call definitely help you. On the weekend, you fly high like a kite, like you're reborn again. And that's only the beginning. Watch and see. Your magical color, red like in number seven. And 34. Ta da! Aries, the lunar eclipse in your creative sector brings sudden events that really bring a new awareness about your love life, your personal life. A good time to get closer to your family and loved ones, to connect with your friends even from afar, to attract new knowledge and meet interesting people that really, really enrich your life. In career, follow your hunches. Financially, don't take risks. On the weekend, express your sweet side. Leo, Cancer, Aquarius, admire you. Your magical color fuchsia. Lucky numbers 1 and 46. Play lottery. Taurus, the super eclipse in your home sector will bring new ideas about your future, some possible changes in the career. Venus, also your ruler, entering your home sector makes you popular, loving, and also good in business. Get ready for some kind of new ideas and a fresh start. Some doors close, new doors open. It's all good. You're able to let go of all deep hidden feelings and, and, and you have a new paradigm in your life. And also get rid of bad habits or some extra weight or drug, drug or uh, alcohol addiction. This is the time that in the next couple of weeks you could make it happen. The, the eclipse is gonna push you towards that. In career, it's a good time also to reassess your situation, but don't uh, make any important changes for now. Just whatever happens naturally, let it set, and after that you'll decide in the mid-September or October. Also, you meet connected people that could really give you a hand exactly when you need it in the next few weeks. On the weekend, your family really makes you feel safe and happy. Your magical color green, lucky numbers 2 and 11. Gemini is the super eclipse in your communication sector. Strongly connection to Uranus brings big changes in all of your life altogether. I mean, whatever was before, good or bad, medium or whatever, the universe is pushing you to be the best you can be. So if you don't, if you resist, you're going to get a little kicksy in the behind -sy. But if you follow the wisdom of the winds, you know, of the heart, you will win big. A new paradigm is definitely in 
uh, in existence in your life right now. The focus is on deep transformation and moving forward in a new direction and a new way doing things. Definitely a good time to establish also your priorities in love and career. The more you do things from the soul, from the heart, for the better good of all, I'm telling you, the bigger you will win. If you don't, mm -mm. on the weekend, hope is in the air. And also, President Trump is a Gemini. Actually, there's a lot of Gemini people in the political scene in USA. Will have a strong, strong effect with this eclipse. The magical color for Gemini's is yellow, lucky numbers 3 and 11. Cancers, the super eclipse in your financial sector and Venus planet of love entering your financial house bring luck out of the blue and strength of character, high intuition and some healing miracles in your life. You get hunches about people, situation. You attract also many synchronicities that give you clues about your future. It's a good, good time to really rethink all your situation at home, in your career, and make some serious moves to be the best you could be. And be bold and be ambitious. Don't think small, think as big as possible. Because if you do, miracles will happen in your life. You are walking on the miracle lane. On the weekend, be spiritual and express your poor excite. A special friend will touch your heart. Your magical color red, lucky number six and 33. And now here's your thought of the week for this fascinating eclipse weeks with Mercury retrograde. Remember with Mercury retrograde, we still have to go slow and we have to play by the rules and go for the things from the heart. Love and peace starts with all of us individually. And together, united, we can really make a difference. So let's take action together, fight for the human rights, get involved in politics, and don't sleep at the wheel. Just be involved, whatever side you are, just be involved and make this country and make your life, the world, a paradise again. I love you guys. Let me put my glasses and tell you, happy eclipse. I love you. Ta-da!